Welcome to Stay Tunes Garage. My name is Alex. It is a beautiful sunny day in California. Today we're going to be doing something very stupid. Stay tuned. Alright, so from the title of the video, you already know what's going to happen. Um, and I want to be the first to admit that it, I shouldn't be doing this. Um, but let me explain myself. So about a week and a half ago, I... So the car has bad ball. It has bad suspension everything um, so about a week and a half ago I wanted to do the ball joints on the car so I, I took apart the ball joint I took the control arm out completely because I had the intention of replacing the bushings um, the, the lower control arm bushings as well so I had to take the spring out of the car and I knew it was going to be hard to put the spring back in. I, I know that. It's pretty simple, you know, to think about that. Turns out, it's not that... It's it's almost impossible to do it. <laughs> so, um, even with, like, uh, those little um, clamps that clamp the spring down, um, it's really hard to get the stock springs back into the car period in my time crunch I had to get the car out of here at a certain time in that time crunch I was like what can I do to get my car out and rolling by the end of the day so I cut the spring so I mean I don't really need to show you but it, the other side all off these three springs if you go around like this are stock height normal springs the left driver side front driver side I cut down about two co actually I have the, the little coil oh, here we go so this is about how much I cut off of the spring um, it lowered the car a pretty damn good amount so today what we're gonna do is just even it all out and I am gonna buy coilovers I just gotta save up your boy works part-time I don't make money off of this. But let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I just went ahead and got the spring out. Um, I forgot to press record on the camera. I wanted to do a little time lapse of me doing this. Uh, but obviously that didn't happen. So, uh, what I did is I, dis I disconnected the sway bar. I disconnected this, uh, the strut. Or the shock. Yeah, something like that. Um, I took off the brake caliper and I just hung it up here. And then I went ahead and, well, before I did all this, I put a jack under the control arm just to keep it, like, just to put a little weight on it so the spring wouldn't just fucking um, come down and uh, smack me. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I disconnected all that. I left this in just because uh, the tie rod just because I couldn't get the cotter pin out <laughs> um, but it worked out so it, it does have play in the steering rack and stuff so it, it sh this angle isn't too bad for it um, let me see and yeah so then I just went ahead and lowered the jack all the way to the ground it quite literally went all the way to the ground and um, I was able to get the spring out so now we're just gonna go ahead cut it up and throw it back in. got the spring cut um, I would normally I mean I, I don't normally do this <laughs> but if this were a permanent install I would go ahead and spray paint this so it wouldn't rust and this little part where I duffed it a little bit um, but this is completely temporary 
and I'm not gonna stay like this forever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and lower her down. Two fingers. And I put a block of wood under the wheel so I could get the jack out because last time I had that problem where I couldn't get it out. Yeah. Three tight fingers. Nice. I don't know if you can see me all that good, but I'm going to go ahead and pull the car out, flip it around and do the back. Alright, flipped it around, now we're going to do the back. Spring. Now I'm just gonna throw this back in. All right, so this side didn't go near as low as the front, but it's still lower. I can tell it's way lower. It used to be a monster truck. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and test drive it. Um, Mom's car is in the way, so I'm going to clean up here, and then I'm going to back the car out. We're going to go take it for a drive. 
All right, I just cleaned up. I got to go to work in like an hour, so I cleaned myself up. I cleaned the car up. Let's go ahead and test drive this. All right, so this car has linear rate springs. So in me cutting off like whatever it was, like an inch and a half or two inches, um, I didn't ruin the spring rate. All I did was just change pretty much the height. And I, what I did ruin, however, is the suspension geometry. So let's see how she does. But it should ride just as smooth as before. It just has less, it'll bottom out a lot faster and it has a lot of less travel in the suspension. So up here we have a little, little speed bump. We'll, we'll go ahead and test it. All right, give it some angle. Ooh, not bad. I didn't even scrape. Hell yeah, let's go. We got some more speed bumps up ahead. It's hard to drive one with one hand, especially, especially when, when your car is thick. All right, let's see. Take this one a little faster. Oh, not bad. It's gonna scrape so bad right here. It's a really, really tough slow button. You guys probably can't tell, but. All right. Oh yeah. It does feel lower. It's not super stiff like my Honda is, but that's because the spring rate is exactly the same. The only thing that's different is the height. So here's how the car ends up sitting. So the rear actually isn't too bad. Now, I just kind of got to either get some wider wheels in here to get the fitment nice and flush or a spacer or two. And same with the front, maybe like one inch and a half or something. But yeah, she's getting there. But yeah, once again, I'd like to mention, uh, I don't recommend you do this. It's not the best thing out there to do. It's gonna probably mess up some of your suspension components and I'm only doing it as a temporary solution so I can drive the car and, and so that not only just the one wheel would be lowered compared to the rest. Um, like I said, I am gonna buy coilovers for the car. So those springs are gonna come right out at, at some point. I'm also doing all the bushings in the car. So like um, if they get any wear and tear during this time that the car is gonna be lowered like this, then that'll be corrected. Um, Ball joints, 
I have one new one and I'm going to do the other one when I do the bushings. So everything in the car is going to get refreshed. It's only going to be like this for a very limited amount of time. And for the most part, I just said, honestly, I just wanted to do it because why not, you know? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please, I hope you didn't learn anything from this. Um, don't do this yourself, like I said. Just stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time. Stay tuned.